Namaste. In astrology, there are many different streams. One is Parashar, the other is Jaimini, and then there are many more. The most significant point that one can derive from Jaimini astrology is about Argala. Argala is a concept that you need to understand. Many times it happens that you don't understand that what is happening in your chart. You are not able to find a good marriage partner or you are not able to find a good job or you are not able to make good profits in your business. Whatever it is. But the answer is sometimes you are not able to get through the normal Parashar astrology. But through Jaimini astrology, if you apply the Argala concept, you can find many answers to your questions. So what is Argala? I have explained in detail in this podcast. And that too in a very simple language. Because simple is beautiful. A simple man, a simple woman, simple has it. All the beautiful things of this world are simple. Love is simple. Truth is simple. God is simple. Simple has it. And you can simplify a certain subject only when you are totally in it. Only when you totally understand it. In this podcast, I have talked briefly on Argala and I have simplified it so that you can understand the details of Argala. And through this podcast, you can find certain answers to your life situations. So let's begin. Conflict of interest always exists in our life. Whether it is within our family or whether it is in our office or whether it is in our relationships, but conflict of interest always exists. And it is this conflict of interest that goes on creating many hurdles in our journey. Today, I will be sharing the Jaimini Sutras specific to Argalas. What is Argala? And how Argala creates hurdles in our life. So let's begin. life there are certain negative things and there are certain positive things but there are also certain negative things that in a way create something good in your life for example if you have failed then your failures teach you certain lessons And through those lessons, you improve. You become much better as a person than you were. So, this concept of Aragala, which means difficulties, has two sides, positive and negative. Many times it happens that you come across certain wrong people in your life you think that you simply wasted your life but you are wrong 
by being in the company of wrong people you realized what is right you see so in reality nothing has gone for west or nothing has been useless as such reminds me of a story there was a young man and he wanted to find the true master so he left everything he left his home and he started walking through the forest in search of a real master after a while he came across a very old man and he was seated beneath a tree the young man asked the old man do you know where can i meet my master because i am in search of a real master the old man smiled and said you go straight and then take a right the young man said thank you and the young man follows the direction goes straight and then right and his journey continues but even after 20 years he is not able to find the true master dejected and depressed he decides to return back home and on his way he again come across the same old man who had become now very old and he was seated beneath the tree and the young man who was also now no more young somehow he felt he remembered that in his dreams from last 20 years often there used to be a dream in which there was a tree and beneath that tree a very old man was seated and he realized that this man is that same man who used to come in my dream he rushed towards that old man and said you are my master now i recognize you then why did you tell me to go in search of a master when you knew that you are my master i wasted all my 20 years and then the master said no son you haven't wasted your 20 years in those 20 years you have come to know who is good and who is bad who is real and who is fake you haven't wasted your 20 years in those 20 years you have matured you have become a much evolved person and look at me i am still here waiting for you and the young man was no more young he started crying he said master i will now never leave you so the the message is this that anything bad or negative that happens in your life don't consider it as a waste of time because those negative things those bad things make you a much better person only if you are willing to learn if you are willing to remain aware in argala the jaimini sutras written by jaimini rushi is basically talking about the negative argala and the positive argala so even here jaimini rushi mentions that the argala 
the difficulty that you see it as a difficulty is actually not a difficulty and so it is a positive difficulty a positive argala and then there is actual negative argala this jaimini sutras is actually a part of the mimansa and mimansa means contemplation what is contemplation in hindi we call it chintan you just contemplate on a specific subject and through that contemplation you come towards a certain insight a certain understanding and it is through this mimansa that the jaimini sutras were born my fellows and they are so beautiful so realistic even the wrong people can become a blessing in disguise only if you maintain a positive attitude and a positive perspective towards life argala means bolt bolt or it is in simple words a hurdle in jaimini astrology there are three types of argalas primary argala secondary argala and positive argala jaimini rushi specifically mentions that every house has a primary argala so if we have to see difficulties or hurdles for marriage why marriage is not happening then the marriage house the seventh house from that seventh house you have to see the second the fourth and the eleventh house any planet falling in the second the fourth and eleventh house from the seventh house becomes the argala the bolt the difficulty let us see an example of a man who is still unmarried let us see his chart and the planets that are causing the primary argala if you observe and apply the jaimini sutra then the primary argala that is the obstruction is caused by planets sitting in the second fourth and 11th house from the house of marriage that is the 7th so as you see rahu is in the 11th house from the 7th house saturn is in the second house from the 7th house and mercury is in the 4th house from the 7th house so primarily rahu saturn and mercury are causing argala that is obstruction to the marriage prospects of this young man but the story doesn't end here now we have to see the secondary argala what is secondary argala that must be our next question secondary argala is the enemy of primary argala and as you all may have heard the saying dushman ka dushman dost hota hai which means enemy's enemy is always a friend so how to find planets causing secondary argala you will have to see planets sitting in the 12th 3rd and 10th house from the 7th house of marriage so now we will see which planets 
are forming the secondary argala in the same young man's chart jupiter mars moon are the secondary argala causing planets but you must remember that secondary argala causing planets are the good guys they cause argala obstruction to the argala caused by the primary argala planets that is in this case obstruction caused by rahu saturn mercury in simple indian context the following saying will help you realize the role that secondary argala plays in your horoscope kaate se kaata nikalta hai meaning by using a thorn you can remove another thorn similarly by the source of secondary argala causing planets in this case jupiter mercury moon the obstruction to marriage caused by primary argala planets is removed so in short the role of planets as far as a marriage house or a marriage prospect is concerned can be categorized as first hero well wishers supporting marriage in this case jupiter mars moon villain opposing marriage in this case rahu saturn mercury but the story is still not finished yet पिक्चर अभी बाकी है देर इज ऑलवेज अ गॉड फादर विदाउट गॉड फादर द स्टोरी कैन नेवर रीच टू इट्स फाइनल कंक्लूजन एंड सो देर इज ऑलवेज वन ग्रेट प्लैनेट इन द चार्ट दैट कैन बिकम योर गॉड फादर ऑलवेज रिमेंबर ग्रेट मैन आर नॉट बॉर्न ग्रेट दे ग्रो ग्रेट Jaimini addresses this great planet as the planet as Trikona Argala meaning positive planet and to find this positive Trikona Argala planet you have to track the planet that occupies fifth house from the house in question so in simple language every house or matter of your life has one supporting planet and that planet is always in the fifth house from the house in question so in this case the house in question is the house of marriage that is the seventh house and so now let's see which planet occupies the 11th house that is the fifth from the seventh house of marriage it is a sun so sun becomes the god father for the matters of marriage so till now this is the whole situation rahu saturn mercury 11th second fourth from 7th house of marriage become villains obstructing marriage jupiter mars moon 12th third 10th from 7th house of marriage obstruct the villains that is rahu saturn mars and so proves positive for the natives marriage dushman ka dushman dost hota hai enemy's enemy is always a friend and the third point sun which is fifth from the seventh house of marriage godfather the backbone strong supporting entity for marriage but still the story is not over picture abhi baki hai now comes the last straw because even the godfather has enemies and so the planet sitting in the ninth house from seventh house of marriage becomes the last straw that can break or make the marriage Jaimini addresses the planet sitting in the 9th house from 7th house of marriage as a Trikona Argala negative because it obstructs the godfather in this case the sun 
so now let us see the final picture of this young man who is so desperate to get married and yet not finding a suitable bride so this is how the, his chart looks there is no planet occupying the ninth house from seventh house of marriage the third house of the chart has no planet and so there is no opposition to the positive trikona argala that is the godfather planet sun so the final picture is jupiter mars moon sun during the period of this planets the marriage can fructify however rahu saturn mercury periods marriage should not happen even by accident marriage happens the marriage partner will always become a hurdle to the native's progress in life However, Jaimini specifically mentions that the positive planets in this case Jupiter, Mars, Moon, Sun should have the necessary strength to counter the enemies of marriage that is Rahu, Saturn, Mercury. It is so logical and hats off to the greatest master of astrology that the world had ever known Jaimini Rushi. Life is like this for every matter or fruit that you aim for there will always be those angels who will support you and those devils who will oppose you argala is just that always remember the moment you are born the moment you take the first breath your enemies and your friends also take their first breath in some hospital but we all come with a set of our destined enemies and friends and to say it is destined is also wrong because destiny is just a signature of our own karma lord krishna's birth in itself is a beautiful example he must be just a baby when so many devils tried to kill him if lord is not left alone then what to say about common man like me or you Argala can be seen from every house that is close to your heart. In the example that I shared, I focused on the 7th house of marriage. But you all can find Argala following the same process from any house of your birth chart. Always remember, we have absolutely no control on the enemies that are on the outside. but we always have and can control the enemy within us and the matter of the fact is that our worst enemy is never on the outside but within be aware of no man more than of yourself we carry our worst enemies within us once a young man said to the master master i am fed up of my enemies the master laughed a loud belly laugh and said prem that was his name the master said prem but i am fed up of the enemies within you prem was moved he quickly bowed before the compassionate master and said i am sorry i am still novice to understand your divine words please explain the compassionate master said prem the real enemy is within you ego ignorance lust power hungry greediness so many enemies are within almost a mountain of enemies and you are crying and worried about the enemies on the outside isn't that a stupidity prem's eyes were filled with tears he was a good man but caught up in wrong situations he started crying he fell on the feet of the master the compassionate master raised him up and said it is okay there is absolutely no need to feel guilty the moment you become aware the darkness caused by your ignorance is replaced by the light of consciousness prem was intelligent man only an intelligent man can ask the right questions and also follow the right answer he asked but master what is the remedy and the master said 
start chanting the name of lord if you are a brahmin you should chant the gayatri mantra every morning and evening because that is the primary dharma of every man and woman born in a brahmin family otherwise also every person irrespective of what caste or creed he she belongs to everybody must chant the greatest mantra of all mantras the holy gayatri mantra prem asked what is the gayatri mantra and how many times to recite the compassionate master said gayatri mantra comes with many variations but the one that i would want you to recite is as follows and this is the gayatri mantra my fellows which you can see on your screen this is one of the greatest mantra of all mantras the holy gayatri mantra prem thanked the compassionate master and the master said always remember when you recite do not recite with any expectation recite with love and devotion and only then the answers will start flowing towards you only then can you overcome the real enemies within you the key to your success is only to be found in the depth of your devotion and love in the ancient times gayatri mantra was recited only by the brahmins because the others never knew about it because it was kept as a secret but now the secret is no more a secret because in this aquarian age in this uranus age the existence wants every individual to benefit from this holy mantra the gayatri mantra my fellows the greatest argala is indeed within us and the remedy to overcome the argala within us is also available the larger question is whether we are willing to follow the divine words of the master prem was willing to he started reciting the holy gayatri mantra every morning and evening he started experiencing a great transformation within he was not like those calculative heads who keep saying i am reciting but nothing is happening if your focus is always on the results then nothing good ever is going to happen in your life remember this only that man succeeds who is focused within and not on the results actions do not cling to me because i am not attached to their results those who understand this and practice it live in freedom says lord krishna lord krishna says focus on your karma and not on the fruits of your karma not on the results but who wants to listen but those of you who have been listening and implementing are changing for good they are the real future of this human world they are the ones who are chosen by god always remember god chooses first then you start feeling a hunger for him men cannot choose god it is god who chooses men jesus chooses his 12 apostles or disciples buddha chooses ananda sariputta krishna chooses arjuna it is always the master who chooses his disciple and the disciple is chosen based on his state of readiness this readiness is measured based on the depth of your devotion and love your money and your status and your power cannot attract the real master the real master will come to you only when your heart is filled with unwavering faith devotion and love once ananda asked buddha master your journeys are always spontaneous 
you suddenly get up and start moving towards a certain village a certain person how do you decide your journeys and buddha said ananda i never decide anything i never plan my journeys there is no planning but when somebody is thirsty for my love when somebody is remembering me from the depth of his heart my legs start moving towards him that is how my journey happen and that is how god is my fellows that is how the real master is you just have to meditate on his name and he will come in search of you if i start calling you every day then some day you will respond so then what to say about someone who is as tall as the mount everest someone whose every cell is filled with love and forgiveness how to express language is really poor words cannot suffice always remember your marriage your job your business everything will happen if it has to happen nobody can take away from you what is meant for you so instead of wasting your time in worrying start meditating because the argalas or obstructions will always exist life is never and will never be smooth and because it is not smooth we are learning something new every day we are evolving through the difficulties of our life a crop grows taller and taller and gives abundance of grains only when it stands the tremendous heat of the sun and the wild storms of the farm life is also like a farmland my fellows the farmer is god and you just have to trust him you have to trust his process because it is the farmer the god who sows you cultivates you nurtures you you just have to let him drive your life you just have to learn to live your life in a total surrender and then everything starts happening in its own accord man has nothing else to do but surrender in a deep trust in a deep love don't be a doer just surrender let there be a let go always remember a man a woman who lives in deep trust and in surrender is never disturbed by an obstruction or argala learn to live in a let go because the more you continue to cling which is rahu's nature the more you will attract miseries in your life the solution to overcome all the difficulties and obstructions that argala brings in your life is simply found in two words just two words let go meditate ओम गम गणपत नम ओम गम गणपत नम ओम गम गणपत नम